recommendation? Yeah, that's correct. All right, and that answers that. They're, this is their recommendation. And by the way, our feeling also is th there are certainly some businesses that might not like the fact that you're limiting their colors. We think we capture a lot more businesses that are concerned about the visual conditions of the commercial quarter and don't want to be a part of that school bus yellow and the purple and the yellow and black I builders agree. and so forth. Uh, we some could see this as anti-business. We see this as, as very much a pro-business, keeping the commercial corridor uh, intact. All right. Thank you. Let me go ahead, Councilman Martel. Um, one of the questions that I have is, how are you going to enforce this? Okay. Next. Well, the, the, the simplest way is everyone that gets a, build, a paint permit, they still need to come in for a paint permit. Right now, even though some people give us a paint sample, we have no say whether there are good colors, bad colors, appropriate or not, they get that. What we would now require is that you would have to come in with a paint sample and either have the LRV or we can look that up for them because we understand some people aren't equipped to, to determine that. We can find that and then we can uh, make sure that it, it meets our code just like anything. If not, if they paint without a permit or they paint in violation of the submitted, then we would turn to our, turn to our code compliance, but that typically isn't necessary. And by the way, we, we've always had great success. Most people will bring in they won't bring in the sample. They'll bring in the card with the five or six samples. And we've had great success with normally saying, this is a really nice color. Have you considered a shade or two lighter? And just move them up the card that they bring in. And if they can go home with a paint color on the card that they came in with, they're usually pretty happy. They're okay with that. So I, I, I think we'll be okay with that. Well, the reason why I asked is because um, I didn't know that we had, uh, we required a, a paint permit. That was that I didn't know that was in, even in our code. Single family owner occupied is the only exception to the paint permit. Even a single family non owner occupied, a rental single family requires a paint permit. Um, what we technically don't require, though, we often get is the sample. Are we also going to make um, an exception for franchises? For example, a, a big corporation that already has their set colors. We don't, but we, we would move them on that line. And by the way, that that's that's sort of. Corporations don't want you to know that there's plenty of play within their corporate colors or within their corporate sign or the way that they do things. Corporations will very readily bend to the request of a city if they if they want to be there. How much is this paint permit? Um, that I don't know, but the cost wouldn't change. I mean, having a, a color scheme isn't going to require. It, there, there's no there's no change. Whatever it is now is what it will be. Well, that's what I'm saying, because I didn't know that there was a permit requirement before, so I just wanted to know what is the cost. There is. It's important because we want to make sure that people are licensed and insured. Um, the less thing you want is someone climbing a ladder on your house, painting your house, falling off, not being insured. You can lose your house over uh, having someone that's doing that. So it, it's insurance that we check license and insurance. It's a, it's a, it's a way to uh, help property owners, actually. All right. The cost, I don't know. Thank you. Councilman Kramer. I just want to say a couple of um, things just in case I need to persuade my uh, my uh, colleagues here to, to vote for this. But number one, we brought this, I would say three years ago, I brought this forward. This is super important to me because I think that, you know, we need colors that are more palatable for our city, for people to want to come here and be next to a building that's any of those colors below that line could be a hindrance to someone coming into the city. As far as the franchises go, just like Chris said, they absolutely have other color palettes. And, and the Kentucky Fried Chicken, for instance, that red building, which, you know, it's cute, but you, you wouldn't see that in Coral Gables. They would do it white with red, red trim. So they have um, alternative color schemes because there are so many cities that have a code, a paint code, um, there's no issue, I think, with that at all. And, um, you know, personally, I liked what we had the last time. But if this is what it takes to get this thing going, um, I think it's super important.